Hello everyone and welcome back to Willistoria. Uh, last time we we got here, I don't know what this place is, but eh, screw it, let's explore it a bit. <laughs> also, I might sound a little more tired, or my voice might sound a bit more tired than normal, and the reason why is because I have been doing a... Oh, we got pushing, or tile push puzzles, okay. Dodge the traps. If you are hit by any trap, you'll be sent back to a recent checkpoint position. I'm assuming that just means, like, the start of the room. Oh, this is a bit more interesting as far as, like, dungeon layouts go. I'm kind of into this so far. Um, anyway, I have been doing a lot of recording because, like, one of my most anticipated games of this year came out today, um, Hylix 2. If you didn't, if you don't know what Hylix is, I, I let's play the first one. It's like, it's like an RPG Maker game. It's... It has like a very surrealist kind of setting going on, and like all of the graphics are done in claymation. Oh, oh, okay. And it, it, the sequel came out today, as of the time I'm recording this, and I, I absolutely love it so far. <laughs> so I've been recording a lot of that. Um, I told myself I'll do a day one let's play of it, which I don't do that often. But you know what? I, <laughs> I, I really do love Hylix. What is this? There's no stopping once you step in the arrow tiles, that's kind of what I figured, okay. I kind of wish you could see all of them if you're going to be trapped into movement like that. And I'm assuming that's a one-way, uh, that's a one-way thing. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Make a stimulant. Okay, fine, we'll fight you. You know, I love that even this far in, confusion is still pretty good. thing I've always kind of loved about like characters based around status ailments, even super late into get into the game, their early skills tend to still be pretty good. Like I remember there were some enemy or some characters in Chrono Trigger that were kind of like this. Alright, cool. Andy, Carissa leveled up, alright. Oh wow, are we almost at the end already? Hmm. Well, hello. I'm a Sentinel of Avarice. Oh, another one of these guys! <clears throat> this ability of mine makes everyone desire for more. No one is ever satisfied, no matter how much they have. Hence, it has caused people to do things like operating a black market, exploiting the poor, and harvesting jealousy of the, uh, of the affluent. Human greed has caused so much war and suffering. How does it make people... It's fine. Avarice is a, is a human nature. Their ugly side. I'm a catalyst. How will your greed power you in the fight? Okay, looks like we have a boss. <clears throat> um, alright. Now let's start by building TP. I'll have you meditate. I'm going to just do basically what I do in every fight, like, just just go for, like, normal super, like, attacking strategies. Um, yeah, that's good. Go for, like, super normal attacking strategies, but, like, set up Rubia as a ba as a backup just in case. Especially if you're going to do stuff like that, and especially if you have three hits each turn again. Um, oh, you have a lot of health. Yeah, I get the impression that these Sentinels are meant to be, like, super bosses. So maybe it kind of makes sense that they're like this. I 
I need to build up counter. Um, you're probably immune to that. Excuse that. And since you like have no magic or no abilities, everyone's like everyone's good on MP. I, fire Rio is really the best thing I have right now. You know, can I be honest about something? Magic, like... MP is never really something I feel the need to worry about in this game, because, like, honestly, never have I ever run out of MP in this game. It's always N or TP that I need more of. Hence why I kind of feel like this game had, um... Or I kind of wish this game had, like... Had, like, ways to get uh, TP easier. Like, I- pretty much- there are a lot of games I've played- I think there's, like, a plugin, a Yonfly plugin, that, like, makes it so TB- uh, TP is basically trade like, Overdrive is in Final Fantasy X, um, complete with, like, giving your characters multiple ways that they can build TP. Heck, the other game I'm playing right now does that. Maybe if that mechanic was here, it would be, like, a little easier to build them and kind of build your team around, like, you know, like- like, d does your character get hit a lot? Is your character meant to be a tank? Maybe, maybe give them the TP th uh, gain thing that makes it so they gain TP when they uh, when they take a lot of hits. I don't know. I want to get core drive just for obvious reasons. Uh, heal yourself for now. Now we set up the counter. Does that hit everyone? Ooh. Okay, looks like I might have to rely on the strategy again. That's not gonna work on a boss. Man, I'm good on every stat right now. Let's just go for that. Oh, okay, that's a magic attack. Let's set this up again. Oh, whoops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> um. Oh no, not again. <sighs> Alright, fine.
Is there anything along the side of this arena? Not really. I figured I'd check. So no one ever puts secrets on the side of the arena, I swear. <laughs> you know, what happens if I, like, kind of agree with him? That's how humans develop and prosper. Oh, so that's if I want to back out of the fight. Okay. Interesting. Counter is more important. Just go Berserk, I don't care what you do, honestly. You can guard. Like, honestly, you your, your job is to just take a hit. Can you stack regen? Typically you can't, but I just kind of want to try it anyway. I feel like he's going to die pretty soon as well, so I might as well just... yeah. Oh right, you have a... hmm. Might as well. No, it doesn't stack, but it does refresh the, the buff. <clears throat> of course it casts that, like, after I... Eh, fine. Actually, this works out pretty well, because now I can have you use, um, Core Drive. Yeah. Now I can start to use this. And that's, yeah, it's gonna kill Lazarus.
Uh, oh no. Oh no, oh, I'm gonna die here again. I wonder if I can min-max this at all. Does it increase magic evasion? I might try that. What does the spell ring do again? No, that's not useful. I'm gonna give this to No, no, no. No, I need magical defense. Uh, let's try that out. If I can get her to outspeed this guy, this might be a lot easier. <clears throat> hmm. Don't you have the heal ring? I guess that doesn't teach her heal, okay. Why not? Yeah, I want to try a different type of strategy. I'm just kind of curious about something. What if I were to, like, try to keep everyone alive? I should have you heal yourself right now, though. I feel like you're gonna die this round, so I'll just do this. Also, Rubia is outspeeding him now. That's gonna make it a lot easier. Because now if I need to heal, I can just get the heal off. Ah, okay. You didn't get to go. Um... Ooh. I can really screw the strategy up is if he gets like 
is if he, god forbid, like, gets another, like, four-turn paralysis on her. So I feel like this strategy will win this fight as well. I just need to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, maybe I should be using this more. Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to do 3,000 health uh, damage to me in one turn. Especially if I counter at least most of it. Yeah, that jolt is a problem, because if that hits, if that hits, that's the attack that makes it so, um... That's a, the attack that has a chance to paralyze. Or is it strike that It's one of those two. Actually, wait, you have a jolt, don't you? No, it, it's strike that can paralyze. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, strike, um, strike, uh, Eldred has. I'm gonna heal. Oh my god, why does that do so much? Why did I not counter that? Well, I can heal before he attacks, at least. Let's see... I should get the Meditate back up. I'm gonna lose, lose a turn of healing, but hopefully I'll get lucky here. Why didn't I counter that? Okay, good. Now we heal. Okay, good. That's gonna hit regardless. Good. Good. Okay, good. Good. Get counter up again. Honestly, it's not so much about doing damage to him through winning through counters, it's about, like, not being paralyzed at this point. Also, is it just me, or has, like, the past three bosses had this exact same strategy of having, like, dual impetus, like, either jolt or strike, and then one elemental attack? I can't help but find that kind of weird. Like, I don't know. One thing I love about games with lots of bosses is when, like, they can make the- Oh, okay, hopefully I can live through this. Is when, is when they make those bosses, like, super unique. You can't counter when you're paralyzed. That's what the problem is, isn't it? Oh my god, fine. I hate that me winning this or not is, like, completely up to luck. Because I don't know how I can do this fight otherwise. Hmm... Maybe I should give up for now. I can always come back here later. Oh. Screw you. There we go. Yeah, I think before we end this, I'm gonna go and, uh, I'm gonna cash in that, like, snowball mission. Or ice ball, whatever the thing was. Oh, whoops. Here it is. Here it is. Yep.
The Ice Ball survived the lava. Yes. So it is the toughest ball of ice on Earth. But it um, disturbed the peace of a vermilion bird. And the Ice Ball seems to have some reaction. Well, it looks like the magic enchantment is a re um, enhancement is reacting. Hold on, let me fix it up, up a bit. You may have this. Ailment ring. Okay. Nice. What is this ring? I turn an ice ball into an ailment ring. It'll protect you from all negative... That is exactly what I needed for this fight. Now I can't be paralyzed. Are you sure about this? I won't have any use for an ice ball. It'll probably help you with your battles better. Oh my god. I, I cannot believe the reward for this is like the one thing that completely breaks this even more. Binds permanently? Like... Oh, as in you can't take it off anymore! Hmm... That's kind of interesting. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. The reason why is because, like, Rubia is meant to be, like, a monk-type character, so it feels like you're- it, it feels like you're not meant to play around with her equipment much anyway. This ring is basically all I would ever want on a character like this, like, a character that can't be screwed over by status ailments, so she can do, like, her counter abilities. And then from then on, like, pretty much all I have left are just stuff that, like, increases her defense, which is perfectly fine, again, from someone who just counters all the time. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we basically just got a ribbon you can't take off. I mean, heck, once you get the ribbon, do you ever take it off? Like, <laughs> I think that's going to be it for this episode. Off screen, I might go back to that place. I'd actually go back in here. Uh, off screen, I might go back to that place and maybe try that fight again. For now, though, I think that'll be it. Thanks for watching.